This is TS233 NAS, QNAP's new affordable device and a replacement of TS230 NAS model. Welcome back to Real Unboxing. So in this review, we're going to go over the features, specs, benchmarks, and also do a teardown of this NAS. Let's do a quick unboxing. The box comes with the NAS system, 65 watt power adapter, ethernet cable, screws for 2.5 inch hard drive, and two less option for 3.5 inch hard drives, and a quick start guide. Now let's look at the specs. The NAS is powered by ARM-based 4-core processor, 2GB RAM, 4GB flash, built-in NPU AI, it can accept 2.5-inch hard drives and 3.5-inch hard drives, it supports multiple file system, RAID configurations, RAID 0, 1, JBOD, basics and more. The NAS is measured 10.6-inch by 10.4-inch by 4-inch and weighs only 4 pounds without the hard drives. On the front of the NAS, there's a power button, LED status indicator for hard drives and network and there's a USB port and USB copy button and in the back there's a single 80mm fan. Looking at the ports, there are two USB 2 ports, one USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and a power supply connection. Now let's talk about installation and performance. The QNAP TS233 can support 2.5 inch hard drives and 3.5 inch hard drives. For this setup you're using 2.5 inch SSD and a 4TB Seagate Ironwolf SATA NAS drives running at 5900 RPM. Installing hard drives are quick and easy, just align the drives against the mount, screw it with the mounting clips. Then align the hard drive SATA and power connector correctly with the backplate and slide the drive carefully into the mounting bracket and make sure it is secured. The QNAP TS233 uses an excellent QTS operating system. It is a web-based NAS OS that makes configuration and managing it extremely easy. I attach the NAS to my router, power it up and go to the IP address of the NAS. First you will be prompted to set up a NAS server name admin account and set up password. Then just follow the instructions to complete the initial setup. And then select the RAID or JBOD volume and let the drive verification process run overnight and next morning it was ready for testing. So we did some performance test and following other results. In the first test we transfer a 5GB file to the NAS and back to the connected desktop using 1GB Ethernet connection. The TS233 provides solid transfer speed. It secures 89 megabytes per second write and 87 megabytes per second on read test using 4TB Ironwolf Seagate drives running in RAID 1 configuration. In the second test we use the same criteria using SSDs running in RAID 1 configuration with 5GB file transfer between the desktop and the NAS. We were able to achieve 113 megabytes per second read and write speed. Basically we were saturating the 1GB connection. This is a great performance by the consumer level QNAP. QNAP also did a great job with the cooling design. The rear fan air flows also helps cool the CPU heatsink and during our testing, I hardly heard the fan noise and the NAS temperature stayed under control. When it comes to upgradability, you cannot upgrade the RAM. Now let's review the QNAP's QTS operating system and setup options. The admin center has a very clean interface. When you first log in, you will see the tiles, control panel, file station, app center, help center and other options. You will also be presented with the firmware update if there is any. The process is very simple. It will automatically install the firmware and reboot the system. The new firmware brings some great improvements, so highly recommend updating it. The control panel provides you all the system settings, where you can set up general settings, hardware information, firmware update and more. Here you also see the options to create users, groups, manage access permissions for local and domain users. Overall, the App Center has hundreds of apps to choose from. These apps include QNAP branded and third party apps. As you can install these apps, you can add them to your desktop along with other programs. But keep in mind, the more apps you install, the more RAM will be utilized. It can affect the performance of the NAS. There is also a system health window on the right side of the screen. It shows hardware information, CPU, RAM and LAN usage, also disk information. There are plenty of configuration options available in the QTS operating system, which is an A plus in my opinion to keep the consumers and advanced users happy. QNAP also offers mobile apps to configure all the settings from the app. Also you can back up your phone pictures to the NAS, access your files and play multimedia files using these apps. Let's do the final summary. The QNAP TS233 is a solid budget friendly NAS for home users looking for personal cloud or local storage to either back up their data or share photos or use it as a multimedia streaming server for 5 to 10 users max. It performed extremely well in all those categories and priced at around $200. The NAS's ability to handle multiple file transfers, great read and write speeds, AI powered photo management and more. It is a great pick for general users and also provides a wide selection of apps. 
On that basis, I highly recommend QNAP TS233 NAS to anyone who is in the market for affordable personal storage with excellent performance. Let me know what you guys think of QNAP NAS review in the comments below. If you like this video, please like and sub to the channel and hit the bell icon for notifications for the future videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.